Welcome to the Black Wealth Channel, where we're about to unveil a game-changing financial opportunity, the Health Savings Account, also known as HSA. Whether you've got an HSA or you're considering one, stay tuned because we're about to dive deep into the account's incredible potential. In 2020, a report highlighted that a mere 6% of HSA holders were leveraging this account to its fullest extent. That's a problem, and we're here to fix it. So listen closely. In this video, we'll break down everything you need to know about health savings accounts, potentially helping you amass between $362,000 and $731,000 in tax-free money. Yes, you read that right. But before we get into the nitty gritty, let me stress this. If you have any questions during this journey, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below. We're here to help. So what exactly is an HSA? At first glance, it seems restrictive. You can only use the money for medical expenses, right? Well, stay with us because we're about to show you why this is one of the smartest accounts you can have. First things first, an HSA is not the same as an FSA or a flexible spending account. Let's clear that up. To contribute to an HSA, you need to have a high deductible health plan, also known as an HDHP, either through your employer or independently. Don't worry, we'll discuss how to pick the right health plan shortly. The beauty of HSAs, there's no income limit, which means anyone can contribute, regardless of income, as long as you're enrolled in an HDHP. As of 2023, an individual with self-only coverage can contribute up to $3,850. And if you have family coverage under an HDHP, that limit is $7,750. Plus, if you're 55 or older, you can toss in an extra $1,000 each year. Now, a crucial point. These contribution limits aren't an all or nothing. You can contribute as much as you can afford as long as you don't exceed those figures. Sometimes, employers also contribute to your HSA, and it counts towards these limits. Take advantage of this perk if your employer offers it. In a previous video, we created a hypothetical scenario where a person by the name of Sheikah, who was under 40 years old, encountered medical problems and needed financial resources. For more information, please find a link to that video in the description. For now, we're going to continue using Sheikah as a hypothetical character to illustrate this purpose. So what can Sheikah do if she's contemplating canceling her policy? Let's crunch the numbers. By ditching her health insurance and saving the premiums, she can accumulate quite a nest egg over time. But as life often goes, a significant medical event can throw a wrench into the works, leaving her with a massive debt. That's where the importance of insurance comes in. It's there to protect you from life's curveballs. But there's a middle ground. Sheikah could, could enroll in a high deductible health plan, an HDHP, which usually has lower premiums. She'd also set aside some money for routine medical expenses in a health savings account, which offers tax benefits. This way, she'd be covered for emergencies while saving for her future. Now picture if Sheikah had an accident under this scenario. Her out-of-pocket expenses would be capped at a reasonable level, ensuring financial stability. Most importantly, she'd safeguard her financial future and that of her loved ones. And now let's get into the juicy part, the triple tax savings of an HSA. First, your contributions are pre taxed providing immediate savings. Second, the gains within the HSA are never taxed. That's right, no taxes on investment growth, dividends, or interest. Finally, when you withdraw for medical expenses, it's also tax-free. That's the trifecta that sets the HSA apart from other accounts. Now, 
Opening an HSA can be done in two ways. If your employer offers one, they'll have a provider set that up for you. But if you're on your own, you'll need to choose your HSA provider and likely make contributions manually. Automate your contributions to ensure consistency and maximize your pre-tax savings. Remember, this account stays with you even if you change jobs. You have control over it, which means you can transfer it to another provider without losing the funds. Investing your HSA money can yield significant returns. Over the years, the average consumer has seen an average annual return of over 8% on their HSA investments. This money can be used for future medical expenses in retirement, making it a powerful financial tool. Here's a bonus. Use a rewards credit card to pay for medical expenses, then pay off the card each month. You'll earn cashback rewards while keeping your HSA invested. However, there's a catch. Early withdrawals for non-medical expenses incur a penalty of 20% plus income tax. So avoid these HSA for non-medical purposes before age 65. After that, you can withdraw for non-medical expenses, but they'll be subject to income tax. To maximize the benefits, treat your HSA as a health investment account for the long term. It can serve as a health insurance policy you get to keep 100% or a way to pre-save for future medical expenses. We hope that this gives you a better understanding of a health savings account. If you have any questions or just want to leave some feedback, please drop your questions in the comments below. We'd also like to offer you an opportunity to get some free stock. To accept this, simply click on the link in the description. If you found any value in this video, please comment, like, and subscribe so that we can continue to serve black families just like yours and help them with financial literacy. We appreciate you trusting us and listening to the end. Thank you for your time and please check back with us as we are delivering content daily to continue to support this mission. Bye for now.